Hey, what's up you guys? Custom Made Graphics here. I've got a quick tutorial today which um, is one that's been requested quite a lot actually. It's um, how to make the links on YouTube partner backgrounds work. So, in other words, like, say here we've got the Jake Machine and we've got Facebook, Jake Scope and Twitter. So, we'd need, so here we've got the his Twitter page, we've got his Facebook page. Um, where's his website? Website is there. But, um... Yeah, and we're just going to add all these into the banner so that when you click them, like we've got on this background here, they will take you to his fan page. Now, I did this because... Um, uh, I did this um, background because somebody downloaded the background that I used the other day, and um, they edited it and removed my name from the side, and to be honest, they made it look pretty goddamn horrible. They've added this sort of spinny shit these logos and these gun renders on the side that are all out of focus and disgustingly bad so what I decided to do was I decided to message Jake he was very understanding and um, I'm gonna make him a new background I've made him a new background now I mean so yeah let's get on so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you save the banner separately so to do this we're gonna go find in your partner background template there should be um, a banner it will either be hidden or shown but if we just go and make it so it's shown a minute you'll see we get a black box we want to go over here to the quick selection tool select all of that and then what we want to do is we can go hide the banner again and now what we want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom find our background layer or whichever bottoms at the bottom whichever bottoms at the bottom whichever layers at the bottom sorry scroll right up to the top and select that using shift and select and then if we go to control E that will select them all and merge them all together and now control C I don't mean to insult anyone's intelligence obviously but um, if you don't know the shortcuts then now you do so you want to hit control C to copy go to file and new and um, the height and the width of the uh, image will already be set because Photoshop's smart and cool like that just click OK now if we go control V paste it in there so there's our banner we just now want to go file and save as we want to save this as a png image so we'll just call this jake machinima banner and go ahead and save that and make sure that none is checked so once that's saved what we want to do is you want to open up your internet browser and you want to go to a website called www.image-maps.com and go over to this website I'll leave the link for it in the description it's great and um, yeah it's free as well so you don't have to pay anything to use it we're just gonna go from from your PC go choose file go to where we saved the um, um, saved the banner so we're just gonna go select that and then click start mapping your image so we're just gonna wait for this to upload and then you gotta wait 10 seconds give this a little read why not but um, yeah you'll see your banner there Four, three, two, one. Yeah, and then continue to next step. So now we've got, you'll see we've got our banner here, but we want to start adding a link. So we're going to go down here to where it says rectangle, and just drag this on. You can resize this. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to resize it to the size of this. Go to Facebook, select all of that, and go ahead and copy that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to click this button here, go test link to make sure it works. There we go. And the title for this will be Facebook. And click save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to rectangle again. And this time it will automatically have um, at the last size that we used selected. So we're just going to plonk that on there. Go and copy in these Twitter link. And copy it up there. Just test it to make sure it works. Good and call this Twitter save so now we're just going to add our final one for the Jakescope website copy and paste it in there Jakescope website for the title and then what you want to do is you do want to click save. So now we've done putting on all the links that we need. We're going to go down here and see 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 where it says get your code. Click that button. And you'll come up out with all these options. And the one you want is HTML code. 
and then you want to press this button here compress code so now what you'll have is you'll have all this text we're just going to go control a and copy it in and what you want to do is you want to copy that into say a text document or something um, let me show all my icons a minute wherever I put this what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy that into a text document and save it and we're just going to rename that Jake Machinima Banner Code so then what you can do is you can just copy and paste that into an email and send it to them they'll know where to put the code to make their banner work and um, that'll make it so all your links work on your partner background banners so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys don't forget to like it if it works for you or if it helps you and um, subscribe if you haven't already for more great content okay guys thanks a lot peace